what is the best way that you have found for people to get their levels in in a way that works systemically? So after my research today, we do know that topical absorption of glutathione is there. It is proven. We have done human trials on that to back it up. And it is by far the best technology that we have today to deliver glutathione completely intact without getting denatured. Topical absorption, skin absorption is probably the best we have today. You're listening to The Human Upgrade with Dave Asprey. You're listening to The Human Upgrade with Dave Asprey. Today is a special, I call them Upgrade Spotlight Editions. And this is where I bring someone interesting who's done cool work in the world. They're making something. So a creator, something that saves you time, something that gives you more energy, improves how you show up in the world one way or another. So it's a very carefully curated list. So today we've got a renowned pharmacist and author who specializes in glutathione, a core antioxidant in your body. It has all kinds of functions, including in your skin. So this is a guy who holds the only patent on delivering glutathione through your skin called transdermal glutathione and the author of a book called The Glutathione Revolution. His name is Dr. Nayan Patel. Nayan, welcome to the show. Oh, glad to be here, David. Thank you for inviting me. I wanted to educate uh, listeners about glutathione. It, it's something where if you go way back in time when I had heavy-duty mold toxicity, I got some IV glutathione, some early really bad-tasting liposomal, and it really helped me get my brain back. And when I travel, I'm all over the stuff. So what is important about glutathione? What do we know today we didn't know 20 years ago? So. We knew 20 years ago that glutathione was important to us, but what we did not know is how how can we deliver to a body effectively? We were injecting IVs, we were taking the liposomal form of glutathione, and it was actually improving levels, but not the reason we think the way it was. We thought it was absorbing correctly because we were infusing into the blood, if we were taking by mouth, it was absorbing slowly, and we had seen the results. But in actuality, it was not absorbing at all. It was breaking down the glutathione and the amino acids that were created were reabsorbing and they were recreating those uh, glutathione back into a system using those amino acids. So it was working, no doubt about it, but not the reason we, we thought it was for or by, by, by being merely absorbing slowly. Now we know that part that it was not absorbing at all. It was actually breaking down and reconstructing again. But now we have a technology. We have a technology that can change that whole process and don't have to depend on on body to absorb it. Keep in mind, I mean, the last 15 years ago, we were not doing gene testing. Now we're doing so much gene testing, we are finding Mm. out people have all these mutations that their body is not able to reconstruct or deconstruct glutathione. Then what happens? Wow. Okay. So... How many people in the population have a hard time uh, either making or recycling glutathione? Well, we have a very small database right now, right? For the last 15 years, what we have found out that people have those gene mutations, they're roughly about 20, 25%, which is is actually a big number. But at the same time, on the flip side, 70, 75% of the people have no issues. They can take glutathione, whatever forms they want to take it, and still get benefit out of it. Mm. I... I find that I have problems with sulfur metabolism because of my COMT genes. Uh, so even though I probably shouldn't have too much sulfur, I also could sometimes not have enough. And I've taken things like MSM, which is a thing that uh, can help because it has extra sulfur in it. Even collagen is a high sulfur um, protein. And glutathione is high in sulfur. Can you talk to me about sulfur versus glutathione? And how would you know that you need uh, glutathione? Oh boy, you're right. If somebody has a gene defect, what you'd explain to was COMT, those patient populations will definitely benefit from some sort of glutathione uh, formulations. But the simple test today is, is you can do a blood test and literally check your uh, RBC levels of glutathione. If you measure a whole blood, what we do know is the whole blood level of glutathione is actually uh, not good for us because what we are measuring is the both plasma and the red blood cells 
the plasma levels of glutathione has a very short life in your body, so it's about 14, 15 minutes. So it's not it's not a true test of your true glutathione levels. If you measure the mm-hmm. RBC levels, I think you'll get a true levels of glutathione in the RBCs. And and we can do those testings. In fact, we are working on test kits right now where we'll be able to do at-home test kits for glutathione. It's not ready yet, but we are working on that right now because as you as you might know with the lab testing, it just takes a long time to get FD approvals. But once we have that, we'll be able to measure blood spot tests at home and check your levels of glutathione. Wow, at so no one has that yet. No. Nope. Interesting. Um, yeah. I've seen some glutathione. I'm, I've seen it measured in labs. So far, it's not red blood cell though. What, what are they measuring? Plasma? Whole blood. Whole They're measuring blood. whole blood. What's the difference usually? between red blood cell versus whole blood glutathione? So the whole blood is plasma and the red blood cells. The plasma half-life is very short. So when we want to measure glutathione, we spin the blood, take the plasma out, and just measure the red blood cells. If you just measure that part, it has a little bit longer life in, in your body. So it gives you a little bit better marker as to what your body levels are. Okay. What are the times of day that someone would want to use glutathione? So the glutathione is actually used, uh, I mean, from external sources, the life is very short. The best product that we have in our market that we have right now, it stays in our body for anywhere from four to six hours, eight hours. If you've repeated use, make it to 12 hours. So if you're using it twice a day, it would be ideal. So morning and evening is most of the people will, will use it twice a day, morning and evening. Okay. Morning, evening. What is the best way to use it? And this this is something that if people saw the last podcast um, that they might have picked up on, but this is like groundbreaking stuff. So uh, I'm, I'm going to give a little bit of, of history before you answer that. Um, we talked earlier about like stinky, un, you know, bad breath, rotten eggs, uh, liposomal. We talked about IV uh, and, and just precursors and taking vitamin C. There's all kinds of different ways that, that I, I've tried like that. Uh, and almost any of them, I notice. like if I'm flying, I have less jet lag or, you know, if I, I have some, a toxic thing, I have less dark circles and things like that, or less, less acne or something because of the, the toxin effect. Um, but I don't know how to stack rank, which ones work better, which ones get glutathione into my cells or my brain or my liver. So what is the best way that you have found for people to get their levels in, in a way that works systemically? So Dave, I'm biased because I've been, I have a product now, so it, it is the best. But again, I've made liposome technology products in the past. I used to make the IV glutathione for 20 years plus, And I stopped making all those products when I discovered the topical version of the glutathione 15 years ago. Mm-hmm. And it took me 12 years before I launched the product to the open public because I had to make sure that it was not just better than uh, the other products out there, it is far more superior than anything that, that's out in the market today. So after my research, today we we do know uh, that topical absorption of glutathione is there. It is proven. We have done human trials on that to back it up. And it is by far the best technology that we have today to deliver glutathione completely intact without getting denatured and your body has to reconstruct them again. So it is, yeah, topical absorption, skin absorption is probably the best we have today. Got it. Uh, in the autism community where I've given talks and a lot of people maybe missed that part of my story, but I had Asperger's syndrome uh, when I was younger uh, oh. until I was about, actually, until I was about 30, I really started getting in and I, I, I got rid of the toxins and, and all that. So I, I understand some of the, the felt sense of it, as well as the biological path. I just got to fix my own brain. Uh, and in the autism community, people have been talking about transdermal glutathione for a long time with the, the problem being it was like really greasy. Uh, they need a lot of it. And, and, you know, the last thing you want is a four-year-old kid, not whether they're on the spectrum or not, covered in greasy stuff, you know, rubbing against your couch, right? So it was, it was like a pretty extreme use case when they would do it. Um, and what you've done now is very different. Uh, and explain what Oro does that doesn't exist in the glutathione world. And then I want to zoom in on specifically skin and the longevity benefits there. Gotcha. 
Um, so what we have done, first of all, the technology is where we have taken the glutathione molecule, we put a chemical cap on the cysteine, which is the sulfur uh, producing uh, sulfur, or uh, the the order of the uh, sulfur comes in from cysteine molecule. We put a chemical cap on it where you can still smell the sulfur. You can see the sulfur, but it's not available to the air to get it oxidized. Okay. So it's like we, we put the first chemical cap and then we basically use polysaccharide molecules to actually stabilize the glutathione in such a way that it can deliver through your skin. Mm. And so okay. it is ve- it's very fast acting. You literally spray it on your body. You just put it on your body and rub it in for about a minute or two minutes and it completely dries up. It gets sticky a little bit initially, but it completely dries up. So there's no messy residue. There's nothing. There's no odor left. There's nothing left. Your, your skin becomes bone dry again one more time in about two minutes or so. And so that's the technology. So you don't have to worry about a four-year-old kid. You're trying to use this product and have to worry about, is it going to be messy and smelly? And is it going to ring on for the rest of the day? So there's no sulfur smell at all once it absorbs. Once it absorbs, there should not be any sulfur smell. So that's that's the best part. Okay. So that you know that it's already inside your system. It's already inside your skin. Because it, it goes away. It goes away. So I've used oro uh, glutathione uh, for a while now because it actually does work. You, you, can, you can feel the difference. And I also use a variety of high-end stuff on my skin because I'm working on, you know, living to at least 180, having a functioning uh, barrier to the environment uh, is a good idea. And collagen loss, if you if you look at the percentage of collagen loss over time, every decade you lose, actually every year you use 1% um, after age 40, if memory serves. So I'm like, if I'm going to live to 180, I'll have 17% of my collagen in my skin left. So I would be like one of those African frogs where you can see their organs. I don't want to be like that when I age. So uh, I put a bunch of stuff on, and I'll say when I use Oro, I get the detox benefits, but there can be some sulfur left over. I think it's my skin is saturated. Uh, so what I what I started doing is I'll just use a little bit of rubbing alcohol, and I like on my thigh, I'll just like rub my thigh with rubbing alcohol. Then I put the Oro glutathione on. Then it absorbs really easily because the skin's like prepared for it. Is there a better way to prepare the skin to absorb glutathione even more? So. Again, for me, I just apply different parts of the body. Okay, but you don't put lotion on your whole body. I don't put a lotion on the whole body, but I do put different parts of the body. Uh, but if you're talking for the skin benefits, uh, we have for the facial benefits, we have a protocol that we use, which is the glutathione and a moisturizer in the evening and a vitamin C serum and a moisturizer in the morning. And it's, it's a four-product system that we've developed for your whole skin benefits. If okay. you're looking for collagen, because if you think about it, the number of products sold for serums for your face is vitamin C. And yeah, vitamin C is, a, they claim as an antioxidant, but in reality, vitamin C is a pro-oxidant. How, does it, how is it possible that at low dose, vitamin C is an antioxidant at a high dose, which, which we use in IV treatments all the time, at, at high dose is, is becomes a pro-oxidant. It, it doesn't have a dual chemical property. It's not that smart of a molecule to have dual chemical properties. Uh, and the reason is because at low doses, it activates uh, oxidized glutathione in your skin and, and regenerates the glutathione. So the antioxidant benefits are actually coming from the glutathione, even though we are using vitamin C as, as a product on your face. So uh, we have developed a whole different product for vitamin C at a, at a higher concentration, at 25% vitamin C, because I want to get away from the antioxidant benefits of vitamin C into stimulating the collagen production under your skin. That can okay. only happen if the concentration is much, much higher. So we have to get a very high concentration in. Yes. What would happen if I wash my face? So I'm a guy, and, and what guys typically do is we just take the same bar of soap that we wash our butt <laughs> with. We assume that the soap forgot where it was so we won't be embarrassed, and we just wash our face with it. And then we look young and beautiful. And then um, our, our women companions have like 17,000 bottles of various things that they do and, and all this stuff. And it's like, they don't, don't they know the soap forgets? But uh, re- regardless, um, 
I have learned from uh, lots of friends in the industry that maybe soap is a bad idea for your face. So I, I use a cleanser because it's probably better. Yep. Um, after the cleanser, can I take the oral glutathione and just like spritz my face with it and then put whatever moisturizer I have on? Or is there a synergy between the stuff that you guys are making? Because I'm, I'm facing this problem that no guy usually has where I have like, 10 bottles of stuff that people sent me to try. And I'm like, how many things can I put on my face before I have like a, a layer of moisturizer I could peel off my face and it would be weird. So, so help me out here. Can I spray Oro on if Absolutely. I'm lazy? So you just said right now, first is a cleansing part, right? Okay. You've got to remove all the um, left row oils and the dust particles, whatever. You, so you, you cleanse your face up first. Uh, it, it depends if it's day or night. If you're using it at night time, we always recommend using the glutathione product, which I'll show you a picture of the bottle. It's the glutathione, the G serum. And this serum is actually, it's just glutathione by itself. And it, all it does, it during the daytime, you have, your body is exposed to a lot of oxygen stress. So all we want to do is to, to nullify all the RO species in your skin. And once it's done that, we use the, we use the glutathione to do that part. And after that, we have this, uh, we have this uh, moisturizer made up, which is called Oro Skin Care Rest and Repair. And what this has is the two main ingredients that we have inside this one is resveratrol and cyclostrogenol. And as mm -hmm. you know, cyclostrogenol is a DNA repair to help telomeres and all those things. Well, let's, let, let's talk about that for a minute. All right. Um, so... Guys, you know that that I've been a longevity guy for 25 years. I wrote a big book about it. It called Superhuman. If you're new to the show, um, you should read Superhuman because it's uh, it's got a lot of stuff in there about living a very long time, and it's actually the structure of how most longevity books are written now is is based on this. You know, there's four things that'll kill you, and then seven or eight things that'll make you old. So, like, let's address them in that order. And I, I write about cycloestrogenol. Can I ever say it right? Which is uh, an extract of astragalus. Uh, but mm -hmm. it takes about 45 pounds of astragalus to make this precious compound. You might know it as TA65, where it used to cost $7,000 a month uh, to take the amount that will lengthen telomeres. So if you're an aggressive longevity guy 15 years ago and you had seven grand a month, you would take the stuff. And maybe some people still do. They probably get results. I did take a very high dose of that for about two years. It was a, not TA65. It was a, a an extract um, from a generic manufacturer. I took very high doses, but it's about how do you get it into the body? And it turns out getting stuff in through the skin is oftentimes more effective than getting things in orally. So if you want to save money, you smear your vitamins on your face. They just, you know, maybe not the turmeric because you'll look funny. So uh, there's an argument, I would say, for putting that very high end ingredient in. What results do you see when they're using resveratrol plus cyclo? I can never say it right. Uh, Cycloestrogenol. Yeah. Cycloestrogenol and, uh, and your glutathione molecule where you've modified the, the saccharides. That combination, what does it do? Like, do you have clinical studies? Yes, we do. So okay. if uh, let me just go back one step behind uh, to the Nobel Prize winner on telomeres activation and, or, or telomeres lengthening and things like that. And now we have a compound that we have shown in studies that it can actually increase telomeres lengthening. But if you look at all the clinical trials, everyone shows one thing in common, that in order for the cyclostrogenol to work, it has to combine with an antioxidant. And so we have the, the most powerful antioxidant that our body produces, glutathione. And when you combine them with the cyclostrogenol together, this is basically becomes cyclostrogenol on steroids or the benefits are exponential. I mean, the results are literally, you can see, you don't need a fancy camera. You can see with the naked eye the results in less than one week. Wow. Some of the, some of the patients are seeing results in two weeks to four weeks. But I kid you not, I we had patients that they had some spots on the face because of sun damage. And, and you know, that's oxidation of under your skin. Those spots are literally gone in seven days. And so- wow. So that's a very, very powerful way to do it. And the reason, the, the, the why it works, because the key is, yes, we, have, we can make all the products we want. Why? And how does it work? Because if your skin is this thick of a layer, right? You have seven, seven eight layers of a skin. We can, put this, we can put on the top of the skin the product, 
But if it goes all the way down to the bottom, and now it works on the bottom and the top, so you're literally squeezing the, the response out double time. So like, it's like burning the candles both ends. Mm. The results are that much faster. And so we have done that with this combination at the nighttime routine. Of course, we have a separate daytime routine, but the nighttime, all you need is two products. We have, we have the technology to combine a lot of those chemicals, ingredients, it's not chemical ingredients, at a full concentration into, into one, one product. That way you don't have to put on like five different products on your face to get the same benefits. I'm, uh, I'm pretty interested, and I, I'm just full disclosure, uh, I, I think you're a legit scientist. I, I enjoy chatting with you about like, nerdy <laughs> stuff. Uh, and glutathione has been such a, it was one of the first supplements I introduced in the world of biohacking. It was like charcoal and glutathione are the two that no one talks about, followed by MCT oil and collagen and, and things like that. So, so this is just important stuff. Um, where I'm, uh, uh, where, where I can say I haven't, I haven't tried that specific formula you're talking about. I'm hoping that you guys will send me some. So uh, what I'm, uh, what I'm most interested in for listeners is just understanding transdermal delivery is likely more effective than IVs. And in, a glutathione IV these days is 200 to 600 bucks, depending on where you go. Uh, and you know, maybe it's a little bit less as an add-on to some other drip, but it's, it's a lot of money, right? And if you get a bottle of Oro, not not just the face stuff, but if you get just the the body spray, you know, you can put anywhere, it's way less expensive, and it'll raise your levels as much as many IVs, right? Yep. So, so this blows IVs out of the water, uh, and um, not to mention you don't need a nurse and blood and all that. Uh, after that, well, okay, like there's a whole bunch of cool stuff that you can put on your skin. And you've got an interesting combination here uh, that I think is is really cool. So uh, I will try the combination on the skin because some people are going to say, well, it's this one ingredient that matters. I believe that that most of the world of, of biology, it's not one ingredient. Like, oh, you want to grow corn? Well, give it water. Well, it needs dirt too. Like, like it, you need multiple and sunlight. Like, what did you know? And like, it needs wind. It turns out if there's no motion of the air, most plants won't grow, right? So you have all these things, or at least they won't grow effectively. So there's all these things that are, are important. So I think stacking the right things up to put them on your face uh, or the rest of your body is cool. If I put it on my butt, will it tighten up loose skin? Because I've lost 100 pounds of fat and I've got rid of a lot of my loose skin and I have great abs and stuff, but kind of wondering, can you tighten things up for me a bit there, Doc? Um, it depends, right? If it's fine. I'm not going to wear depends. I, I, I'm talking, no. no. <laughs> I wish it was true. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, if fine wrinkles are easier than okay. coarse, right? Uh, okay. If you have lost 100 pounds, which I can't even imagine you 100 pounds heavier than what you are right now, but uh, yeah, uh, but yeah, if you have 100 pounds, that skin, if it's stretched, elastic is stretched out, that's very hard to uh, bring it back to okay. completely baby skin. But the fine wrinkles, crow's feet, things like that, those are relatively easier compared to something on your back or your uh, rear okay. that is that is like that. So sorry. <laughs> oh <laughs> man, how about cellulite? So cellulite, absolutely. So cellulite is a function. Uh, I always say cellulite is if you can somehow detox your liver, the cellulites will start getting lower and lower. It takes it takes a little bit of time, um, and so I always say detoxing the liver will help your cellulite more than anything else. And glutathione absolutely is a powerful powerful uh, agent that can help you detoxify the liver. So we have seen cellulite reduction in a lot of our patients uh, by applying uh, applying stick to the thighs, stick to the belly area, things like that. So it just okay. takes a little bit longer time than normal, but we have seen great results with that too. So, so a potential, we'll call it fix for, for cellulite. Yep. The, the nature of cellulite too it, is that if you lose weight, you'll lose cellulite because there's fat in it. But if you increase collagen thickness under the skin and on the top of the skin, basically the skin is, is more taut. So you're not going to see the dimpling, right? That's right. Yep. Uh, and I don't actually have any cellulite anymore. I, I used to have a little bit on my, my butt, but I have about seven pounds of fat in my entire body, including my organs right now, which is probably too low. I'm like adding more butter and more carbs, but I'm, 
I'm shockingly lean. I, I, like <laughs> it's it's unimaginable to be perfectly honest. And some and a lot of this is recent shifts in nutrition that I'll I'll chat about someday, um, where I've been testing the some beliefs in the longevity community versus others, and I'll I'll uh, release all that when I I when I feel confident on it. Um, the other one is I did do gene therapy. Guys, DaveAstrey.com slash gene therapy if you want to hear the episode about that. Um, and I think that that probably resulted in 1% of the of the body fat loss. So I can say I don't have cellulite, but cellulite was a concern before. I never had a lot of it. And I had, you know, I have lots of women friends, uh, middle-aged, who are always worried about it. So if you were to to get which of the oral wellness products is the one that is most likely to reduce cellulite? It's still the glutathione. Just the straight up glutathione? Just so you straight just, up glutathione. Okay. How many sprays on areas with glutathione? Like, do you saturate so, it? Just tell me how to use it. So the G is is the is a facial product that we have for the skincare. And it's a two pumps of these ones is more than sufficient for the full face and two pumps of the cream as a moisturizer to for, of, for the full face. That's, that should be more than sufficient. Two pumps of each. When when the people buy the whole kit, the the kit also has a vitamin C and the moisturizer, and that plus the serums of the, of the glutathione, the four pack system is a full system for day and night, and ha- it has anywhere from seven to eight uh, ingredients at full concentration, uh, using our technology to deliver every single thing. So, you know, I'm a guy. I don't know if you noticed that, but. I don't like to put too much creams on my face. I just, they just said earlier, gross. just to peel the thing off. Yeah. I can just imagine myself. I mean, I have no hair, so I have no shampoo, no conditioner. So I put creams my full head and my face and, and my neck and every single thing. It takes a lot of cream and I don't like to put too much things. So I want to make it simple, you know, from a guy's perspective. I want to make it simple. And I really later found out that my wife goes, Hey, I don't want to put too much creams on my face either. Can you make something for for me that is only like one cream has all the greens inside? And and I thought she she loved enjoying putting all these three or four different different things on her face every single day. And she goes, "No, I I hate it. I hate it." But no other choice. So it's the the one cream to rule them all. One. That's what. That's what. Well, the thing is, we have the technology now. If right. We didn't have the technology before. Now we have it. We, it's a proven technology that it works with all these ingredients. And when you talk about cellulite or the collagen production, we know that vitamin C can help you with that one. The issue is every product that's in the market today, because vitamin C is so, the pH is so low that you cannot put high concentration of vitamin C in any serum because otherwise it'll put a hole, it'll burn your skin off. Now that we have the technology that can disperse into your skin immediately, we can make 25, 50% of vitamin C very easily that gets into your skin, doesn't burn the skin at all, and still stimulate the collagen production under your skin. So now you can have a more even tone. And the fine wrinkles we saw literally gone in in four weeks. Wow. That's insane. Okay. Uh, (laughs) this, This is what we're playing around with. Does it matter? Like, let's say you're 70 versus you're 30. What kind of results do you see in very old skin versus young skin? I mean, young skin is a little bit harder because they have a lot more things going on. The results that we are seeing are on the older skin more than the younger skin. So 40, 50 and above is we're getting better results on those skin than we're getting results on the 30-year-old skin. The 30-year-old skin is a lot, may may need a little bit more things or less things. But the 50 year old skin is so much deprived of all these nutrients, they're just gonna soak it up and just gonna get the benefits much, much better for us. Visible benefits. I I love it. This sounds sounds really good to me. And I've talked about other things on on the show too. There's um, there's things with specific peptides in them yep. that can have a beneficial effect. They're just beneficial by different pathways. Yeah, there's there's a whole bunch of stuff that that probably is helpful. Right, and so uh, for people saying, "Well, which is the one you recommend, Dave?" I'm just going to tell you straight up: I recommend the one that works for your skin. Right, and I cannot uh, and will not say Oro is the only one you should use. I can say that it's very well designed by someone who clearly knows glutathione in and out and has really good clinical results. So this looks like one that meets the cut. 
So give it a shot. See how you look. It, it usually takes 60 days to really see a, a meaningful difference on any of these things. You said the people are seeing a difference in a week or two? So we have seen results in one week. We have seen results in four weeks. I mean, that's all my clinical data is on one to four week time. Wow. Forward. Okay. That's a pretty aggressive if you're, if you're seeing differences like that. So there you go. Try it for a month or two. And if you're like, wow, I look great. Here's what you could do. You could keep doing it. Or you could say, you know, I want to try something else. And then you alternate because you know this one works. Then you do this one in the morning and something else at night. And I'm sure, um, you know, Dr. Patel here doesn't like me saying that, but, you know, it's okay to do what your, um, you know, to, to do what your body wants you to do. Uh, and you may find this one works so well, you don't need to ever think about it again. Uh, and you do not want to be like me. I literally have like, six bottles of stuff on the counter sometimes. Uh, and, you know, when I was uh, when I was dating around, people come over and be like, dude, you use more product than I do. And I'm like, no, I don't use it. I'm just trying it to see what I can talk about on the show because some of it smells bad, some of it doesn't work that well. And like, it, all of it has to have science. And it's it's like as hard as taking supplements to try and figure it out. You're like, oh, I'll put, you know, put this on this arm and this on this arm because so, I'm, I'm testing stuff out. So um, I'll just say... This the the spray that you have is is very very usable, and I'm really excited about the the skincare stuff specifically. I was using the spray for systemic use because I think it beats IVs, and now you've got some other stuff which is which is just interesting and cool. So I uh, I thank you for continuing just to to I'll say put your money where your mouth is in terms of invention. Um, th there are so many people out there who just make stuff because people will buy it, and you're like, let's make stuff because it's going to work really well. Yeah, I'm, 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 the thing is, for me, as a pharmacist, I get to discover things, make things every single day. And I don't want to make a product that is already out there or, or copy somebody else's formula. I want to create something that is, is a major paradigm shift in, in the industry. And it's about time we take the cosmetic industry by the horns because uh, patients have been, clients have been duped for so many decades, if not centuries, with products that actually is is just a great marketing plot. And so, for me as a pharmacist, I want to I want to make products that is, as actually delivering ingredients that we have known that are beneficial to your skin. And so that's what we are here for. If, if somebody asks me, I said, "Do you make all the other products, cleansers and toners?" I said, "No." You can buy those anywhere else. They make great products outside. Somebody else makes it. But what I do is I make unique products that are actually benefit for your skin and for skin health. So that's what we are here for. Uh, beautiful. I'm a big fan. And I, I just, I love it when you have real science behind stuff. Uh, and just to be super clear, this isn't going to be the only thing I ever use on my face, right? Uh, because of the nature of what I do for a living. Um, but it, it's already something that I use. I actually don't put the spray on my face usually, but I can now know. Uh, and I'm going to try your cream as well. Uh, and I'll be rotating it around my body, uh, right? Because I am a biohacker. Uh, and I am going to put it in my permanent set of things that I use because um, there's so much evidence for it. And if I, you know, two years decide, you know, hey, something changes, I'll tell you guys. Uh, but right now, this is um, this is a breakthrough, and to not get IVs saves you so much money. Uh, in fact, okay, here's a here's a question for you: If yeah. you use RO just on your face, uh -huh. do you get a systemic benefit? Um, depends on which products you're using. If you're using the spray, for sure, by all means, yes. If you're using a cosmetic product, so we. With the technology that we have, we can decide how far you want to go inside your body. Oh, wow. Yeah, so we can keep it localized benefits for your skin because why distribute through, throughout the whole body when, you, when your health is right, at the, right on your face? So mm. we have designed the skincare product to actually benefit all your skin uh, conditions. Wow. Mm. So you, you can get dual effects, by the way. So what you are using, the... The glutaral spray; those those are going deeper. Okay, I I like it. So probably if you're like hardcore glutathione user like me, you can you spray your face first and then put the creams on. Yep, right. absolutely. All right, I, you'll get a set. You'll get a set to try it on for sure. <laughs> here, here's what I want you to make uh, for everyone listening. 
I want you to make a cream that I can just smear on my face and like all my neck and maybe chest. Although guys, we don't have to worry about our chest because we have different skin on our chest than women. Women basically have like the thinnest skin on their chest. So they're always worried about that. Um, but I just want to smear it on and I want to get like youthful skin and a whole body dose of glutathione that's like equal to an IV. So then I just don't have to worry about it. Can you do that for me? Done. All right. Now, Done. <laughs> excellent. Now here's the next one. This is going to be a tough one. Um, you mentioned uh, that you don't have any hair. No. Now, are you like Brian Johnson removes all of your body hair with a laser just to look cool? Um, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> just my upper body. Just my upper body. Because, you know, I apply glutathione every single day and I have to look for non-hairy area. <laughs> and so I have my arms and my belly is completely shaved off and <laughs> laced it off. You know what? I'm I'm totally with you there. Uh, and and I just when I interviewed him and we talked about it. You know, we're both longevity guys, and um, he's the like had laser removal of all the hair on his body except for like his eyebrows and and <laughs> and, uh, and head, and um, that would be a little unusual. But I use electrodes on my body a lot, and I use creams. And if you have hair everywhere, it's it's just not a good thing. Women are like, "What are you talking about? It's not a problem." No, it's a problem. If you it's have like yeah. like oil or cream, and and it's I. I have the caveman gene for very little body hair anyway, but even then I have enough that it's like, ugh. Uh, so yeah, a uh, little bit of hair removal there, good idea if you're going to use transdermal delivery systems. Please, um, yeah. But that wasn't where I was going with it. Um, I, was, uh, I was actually going to ask about um, hair growth and glutathione because one mm -hmm. of the reasons that we lose our hair is um, certainly there's a DHT testosterone effect. Glutathione probably won't affect that very much. No. But the other one is mitochondrial dysfunction. In fact, it's the largest one. And glutathione is at the core of mitochondria. If I were to like take Oro and like put it in on my scalp, what's going to happen? So again, it doesn't have to be applied on the scalp itself. Okay. Uh, if it's going to benefit the mitochondria, you can apply on your arms and your or on your belly or someplace else. It will do the similar effects. But yes, it can help with uh, hormone metabolites. Glutathione has shown to improve uh, excretion of hormone metabolites, especially estrogens and testosterone metabolites, which are toxic to the liver. So, but it does not remove the DHT part, which is the culprit of this whole thing, right? Uh, because it is a different metabolic pathway to right. excrete out of the liver. So that's the only thing. Mitochondrial functions can be improved, and so that can help. But again. It can help on a younger patients that first started losing their hair because that's when they have the issues. But typically, people that come to us are always, they already have thin hair to begin with. Can you it, do something? Can, can you revive them again? And that's the more, the most difficult portion because it's just not the magical functions. It also requires a lot of nutrients on top of that to build the hair again. Well, it, it may just be that you want to have some danger coffee, which is full of massive yes. amounts of trace minerals because you need those to grow hair and That's even right. to have hair that that doesn't turn gray. So there's you know there's a there's a whole dance there. I I do think glutathione can help, especially with thinning hair. And we didn't talk about it much, but so many skincare products have hormonal disruptors in them. Yep. And you don't want to be using those. Uh, in fact, it's it's one of the reasons testosterone is going everywhere artificial fragrances and things like that. Um, when, you're, uh, when you're using a glutathione product, it increases your body's ability to get rid of the toxins that are disrupting your endocrine system. Um, like you said, it's probably not going to help with DHT, but it will help with testosterone that turns to estrogen and things like that. So that's kind of cool. Uh, so uh, a side benefit of glutathione, we'll put it that way. Uh, and I'm, uh, I'm very interested in restoring hair color, which could be a glutathione pathway and certainly keeping hair thickness. And I think glutathione is a part of all that, but not the only thing to do. True. And you just said there are a lot of uh, cosmetic products that have hormone disruptors in there. Estrogen-like products, not estrogen itself, but estrogen-like products mm -hmm. in the skincare line because we have known that estrogen seems to have a better with the, with the female skins and most of the skincare users are female. Guys are getting the, uh, into this bandwagon now because we, don't, we want to look good too at this point. And so having those cosmetic products free of all hormones, disruptors, uh, is a key for us. And so clean beauty, uh, plant-based if possible, a technology-based product that, that takes only known ingredients inside of it is, is, is very important for me. 
Would you eat a tablespoon of your formula? I will do it in a heartbeat. Okay. Can we see it? I'm kidding. It would taste bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, the rule uh, that I have here is if you put it on your skin, you really ought to have ingredients you'd be willing to put inside your body because it That's does right. enter your body. Uh, so I, I think you've, uh, you know, you've, you've embodied that in your creation process. So the, those are all the questions I had for you, you guys. Go to Auro Wellness, A-U-R-O Wellness dot com. Use code Dave ten and you get ten percent off. And this glutathione thing, it's a big deal. Even if you're like I don't care about my face, you know, like I'm already I'm, I'm already married. I already had kids. I I, I, don't, I don't care about my face whatsoever. By the way, that's not most people who are married with kids. But if you're one of those, it doesn't matter. You want it for your liver and your brain. Right. And so if you're doing stuff for that, you might as well make your face look good while you're at it because who knows, you might live way longer than you think you're going to. And, you know, let's might as well look and feel as good as you can as, uh, as you, you move along wherever you are in life. And I know glutathione is important uh, because I've been using it for almost 20 years now. And it brought me back from the brink when I had toxic mold. That's how I learned. And now look where we are. Spray it on your skin instead of getting an IV. It's awesome. Again, rowellness.com code Dave10. And it's, uh, it could be life-changing. It could just be face-changing, which is kind of cool anyway. And just understand there are hundreds of companies making glutathione products now. Uh, and I, I like to think that over the last 10 years, I've had an influence on the demand for glutathione. Um, there's a lot of really bad, uh, really bad tasting, not that well-designed liposomal products that are out there. Some that aren't even liposomal, they just put it in stuff and then you spread it on your tongue and you think you got it and you didn't. There's some that, that get digested and don't work. Um, and there are some that are precursors. Like There's a bunch of different approaches. I think transdermal is pretty interesting because it just works so well. Uh, and it's, uh, it's actually more cost-effective than IVs and a lot of the oral formulas. And you can smear it on your kid's back Yep. you're not going to get them to drink the sulfur stuff. And if you're going to make out with someone after you spray it on yourself, it's okay. Try taking a spoonful of liposomal glutathione and then kissing someone and just watch what happens. Uh, it's an interesting experiment. See how much they like you. <laughs> Aura won't do that. So uh, it's uh, it, it's a cool product. So thank you for inventing cool stuff that works. Uh, World of Biohacking is getting better every day. No, thank you, Dave. Thanks for allowing me to be here today. You're listening to The Human Upgrade with Dave Asprey.